A girl or boy, boy, you be helping me. Hey, healthy buddies. So, this is my week three weekly update about how week three went. And at the end, I'll give you a goal of mine for week four. So, let's get into it. Week three. Week three was kind of similar to week two and a little bit of week one. Um, I did pretty decent, I thought. I did not feel good um, for two days. I was very nauseated or nauseous. Is it nauseated, nauseous? And so I was like, ugh, I would just, like skip lunch because I just did not feel good. So I'd eat breakfast and dinner. Other than that, um, those just those two days I skipped lunch, but it's also been somewhat of a stressful week, but that hasn't really done much to my eating habits, so I think I'm doing really, really well. I know last week I had a rough day, and, um, I gave in a little bit, but this week I've actually done pretty well. I've been, I was mimicking, um, week one. Where I said, no, bitch, no, uh, to the food devil. And so, yeah, I've, other than that, I've done really well. This week, what has changed is really not my eating habits, guys. It's more like my, my workout habits. Okay, so you guys know I work out at, um, every day for 30 minutes. Uh, um, every day I walk for 30 minutes. And this week I've decided to up the ante just a little, up the ante, you can't even see my hand, up the ante, uh, just a tad. And so I had my postpartum um, support group and they actually only are 1.7 miles away from my house. And oh, I usually walk there and then walk back, old Amber, before the injury and fine. But guys, now I'm in my, um, my knee's feeling good, but I, my uh, ankle is injured. So that was a little rough on that. That actually did really well. I'm surprised my ankle did. It's my lower back, which I normally don't have problems with, but I know because of the weight and then me not having, and then I haven't been walking for like four, what, four months. Um, I'm just, my body's not used to it anymore. And having such an enormous amount of weight you have to carry, you know, can be stress on the body. And the, that route I do take is hills. So that's why I really wanted to do it. I wanted to get some extra uh, cardio in my workout this week. And so Carl dropped me off and I walked back. Now there's three different routes you can take from where my group is at to my house. And both of those other two routes really don't have hills. Uh, but you guys know that up and down, up and down is really good um, for the cardio. And so that's what I want to do. But I was like dead. I was dead. Um walking that um but I wasn't like <laughs> like that but I was just like oh whew, I'm glad I'm home and I was like it's 1.7 damn miles but that's okay I respect I respect where my body's at right now I respect that so I did that other times I've done oh this one past week also I bucked the ante um I did a walking hit workout now why I'm saying I'm, um and that's only was like 23 minutes I believe but why I'm saying I upped the ante on that because that one workout I did do last, I think the first week or maybe it was the second week, I don't know. I believe it was the first week was I wanted to do it twice last week, but I didn't do it at all. It was the Fitness Blender low cardio workout. It was like 30 minutes. But it's not HIT. And I love HIT workouts. My, my heart gets a pumping, I get a sweat, and I can really feel it. And those HIT workouts really help me lose those 50 pounds. Especially walking really did. And, but because I have these injuries, I can't do HIIT. Wrong. I did a walking HIIT workout for 23 minutes where I consistently walked, but did different movements in between. And I was like sweating. I, it was 23 minutes, but I, it really got me into that good workout. It, that 23 minutes of really pushing it versus the, just the 30 minutes of just walking. 
I burnt more calories in the 23 minutes than I would have done walking. I only did that once, and then my other workout that um, was pretty big was walking that 1.7 up those hills for my support group. So instead of doing that fitness blender workout that I'd said I wanted to do last week, but didn't really do two times a week, I did those two things, and then the rest of the days, I just walked those 30 minutes. I really don't want to push it more than two days where I'm really pushing myself, just because I really don't want to re-injure myself. And I want to go slow, and I need to put that in my in my head, because you guys remember what I said, if it's not an hour workout, I'm not losing weight, I'm not losing calories, you need an hour workout. You know what, shut up, old Amber. So new Amber's really, really focused um, on just starting where I'm at, and going from there and I'm really really proud of myself this week because that's what I did. So my goal for next week is basically the same thing I was doing this week. I really just want to keep focusing two days a week where I'm really really exercising. Um, really pretty pretty hardcore for my body. Um, what my body can handle right now. Which those 23 minute HIIT workouts um, that was a low impact. That really did help me, and I really did enjoy those. So I think I'm going to do um, two of those next week. And I'll link below what I did if I can find the video. I know I can find the video. So I'll link it below just in case you guys want to watch it or even do it. And then I think my other goal is, yeah, I have two goals this week. Fuck this one goal in the video. Two goals, two goals. Uh, my second goal is to really pay attention uh, to when do I really eat. I've been noticing around the 3 o'clock time is very difficult for me. I get very hungry because by 3 o'clock, you guys, I'm done with everything I really need to be doing. I am a... Um, uh, I wake up and I like to get shit done. That's who I am. And by 3 o'clock, I have... I have nothing really to do. Um, my baby is now up from her nap. Um, I'd done the dishes. If I didn't do dinner dishes, I'll be doing dinner dishes tonight. Because holy shit. Whew. I think I'm going to be making a, 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 a pasta, but with butternut squash. So I'm going to be dirtying quite a bit of dishes. And so, anyways. So, I need to focus on um, what... What times am I getting fresher? Did I see myself saying, oh, I want this. I want a pudding. Oh, I want a Sprite. Oh, just maybe a handful of M&Ms. And I know those things by themselves are not that bad. Well, maybe the pop. Because the pop has a lot of sugar. You guys, a can of Sprite, I think it has like 32, 36 um, grams of sugar, which is horrible. I think, isn't it like four grams of sugar is like a tablespoon of sugar? Um, I'm not for sure about that, but <clears throat> it's fucking ridiculous. So I really want to um, pinpoint what I'm most um, like weaker, I guess, when it comes to the food. And I, I, I think I've been focusing um, too much on, okay, okay, so I'm having bread, I'm having bread, so I can't have bread. Uh, some days I'm focusing on that, I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, you can have everything just in smaller amounts. But um, but when you're um, snacking because you're hungry, um, and it's fine if you're hungry to eat, I just, I get bored, you guys. So around the 3 o'clock time, because I'm done with all my tasks, I'm bored, and so I want to eat. So I really want to determine when I'm really weak. And I've, I've noticed that it's 3 o'clock, um, and probably around 8 p.m., 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., when I put my baby down, I put my baby down at 8 p.m., and I'm doing work now, I'm editing videos, or I'm researching how to, um, shop for eBay, I mean, sell on eBay, excuse me, and so, those moments where I'm just like, okay, can I have a drink of something, can I have eat, and I haven't done that this week, because I've really been urged to do that, so, next, um, week's goal um, is to really, really pay attention on those weak moments and put that in the back of my head, uh, put that in the forefront of my head to acknowledge that those are the times um, when I really want something. And so I, I've just been keep working. So at 3 o'clock I'm not, this is what, you know, me being bored, 
I find something to do. I'm like, oh, you know what? Devin, let's have a school lesson. I've done um, 30 minutes a day, a school lesson for my baby. And not only does it help me, but it helps her and her knowledge, or I'll clean her room, or I'll play with her and whatnot. So I'm really focusing on that at the 3 o'clock. And then at the 8 or 9 o'clock, I'm just like, okay, um, I really want something to drink. So I will go into the fridge and get a really, really cold bottle of water and just drink that. And that's actually really refreshing. I'm like, oh, that's, that's kind of feels really nice so I've done that for the past couple days and my goal for next week is to really really do that during those times where I'm really weak and to acknowledge um, other times maybe I'm, I'm not aware of so for next week that's what I want to do so <sighs> yeah but other than that guys I'm really proud of myself um the first of February is coming up so fast so, uh, first measurements, first measurements, which I don't think I'm going to lose any measurements, to tell you the truth. I really don't. I, I do think maybe I lost a pound or two. I do feel lighter, but that might necessarily not be weight, but just the food I'm taking in. You guys, if you guys eat a donut, you feel sluggish, but when you're eating a lot of greens and fruits and, um, grains, uh, you know, the good greens, um, you really, really do feel better and you do feel lighter. So I'm feeling great. I cannot believe it's been week three already. Crazy. Mm, 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 mm. But I feel happy, so I'm dancing. I'm feeling great. You guys are awesome. You guys leave awesome comments in my videos. You're watching. Thank you. You guys, three weeks has been a really long time. For me to succeed this long and it's because of you guys it really is 2016 i couldn't keep i think it was like a week and a half in 2016 oh sorry glitter 2016 where i really did really well and other times i just kept failing after that week and a half i was like ugh but three weeks guys three fucking weeks i've been pretty damn successful and it's not it's because of you it really is you guys have been helping me and um, I give credit where credit is due. And girl or boy, boy, you be helping me. So thank you. You guys are beautiful people, beautiful human beings. And I love you guys all so much. So thank you for watching my weekly update. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that button below so you can see other videos like this. And share if you think it's shareable. And have a good morning, good afternoon, good day, wherever your little souls are at. Bye, healthy buddies.